Okay, well I'm in. And I got my little friend right here. And it's a, you know, it's a very well formed baby. Um, and he's poking around at me looking for something to drink. But this guy is literally just uh, like a half an hour born. And he is still wet behind the ears when I brought him in. But uh, like I said, I thought I would just come in, get him warmed up. The baby pig will be good for, <clears throat> it, it's surprising. Um, if I gave this guy no food, he comes out with a belly full of <clears throat> um, nutrient from his mother. <clears throat> so he would be good for good to go for quite a while. We just need to keep him warm and keep the other babies from that are out there. They're almost a month old. We've got to keep them from being too rough with him. And uh, you know, hopefully, I go out there and the mother has settled down and is farrowing, and she's got some more, and I can just slip him in or her in. This is a female. And if not, if that doesn't happen that way, then this baby will go out onto the east field in with one of those blondes. The mother that is out there is a brindle. And um, I've, I've had questions about brindles. Uh, people want to see what their babies look like. And what we get from a brindle is generally a pig with this coloration, for starters. But then as time goes on, you know, you know what you're going to get. Sometimes you get a, a swallow, sometimes you get a pure blonde, sometimes you get another brindle. But this is what's going to be happening today. So I'll try and keep, keep it updated. And I think this is important because, you know, I people want to farrow pigs. It's nice if they know... But what do you do if this happens? What do you do if this happens? It's, uh, and after a while it becomes kind of uh, instinctive. You know, when it's cold out in wintertime, it's not real cold today, it's 30, but you still have to um, keep the animal from freezing because it's 30 degrees and, you know, water freezes at 30 degrees, so this little flesh ball could freeze as well. Whoa, son. That's amazing how active they are literally uh, within 15 minutes of being born or half an hour, see. But this guy is all dried off now. They come out with sort of a, <clears throat> a sack on them, like a cambium, and it dries and flakes off. And so he's completely dry now. And I could start him on some something to eat, but he's okay for a while, so I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna let him get settled down. And you might think that I handle this pig this much when he's brand new, um, that he'll somehow bond with me, but that's not really how it goes. If I can get him on one of the mothers today, I'll never even know who he is. Maybe someday he'll write his memoir and remember me. Okay, let's press on.